deck the halls with boughs of holly. Hi guys, it's Shell with Creative Shell Bear. Uh, I am on day two of our uh, stocking stuffer series, and let me show you what I'm going to do or what I came up with. I have a bunch of these little hard candy tins, so I'm going to make my um, what we're doing today is we're making magnets. So I'm making um, my magnets in circles. So if you have a tin that you want to reuse, then by all means just cut down, you know, whatever size that you want to and we'll decorate the tin and, you know, just make your shape fit your tin, decorate it so you're reusing, you're repurposing and you're getting a cute stocking stuffer gift. <clears throat> Okay, I'm going to use this washi tape that I picked up at the dollar store to just cover my tin and see how, see how it works. Okay, so I'm just going to cover my tin just to make it look, you know, pretty and you know, that I put some thought into it instead of just throwing them into a tin. You know, just to have something cute. I'm just going right under where the lip is so that the lip will fit really nicely. You can paint these tins if you want to. I just didn't really want to dig out the paint right now. My, um, I'm just looking for fast, quick, and fun, and you know something neat. Okay, so I have this one circle. So I'm going to cut this out. I got this one for the front or for the top. So I'm going to go ahead and dig through my scrap pile and cut another one out for for the bottom okay I'm just going to use this as my guide sorry I'm not staying on my, on um, camera very well so you're just going to cut around it then we'll just glue that down just to kind of cover up the tin, kind of decorate the tin up a little bit. <clears throat> okay, so I'm just going to glue that down. And that should stay really well. Okay, and I'm going to decorate just this top part right here, just the lip, because um, our circle is going to cover up the rest of it. So I'm going to use the same washi tape that I used on the bottom part, and I'm just going to go around my lid. This is just another fast and fun little gift. Okay, and then I'm just going to fold it over so that when I put my blue circle on it will cover it up, cover up the tape. Okay, isn't that cute? And so that's glued down pretty good. I'm going to put my, just throw my blue circle down. Put some a lot of glue on it and I'm just going to glue it on top okay we'll let that um, set while we're making our magnets but in that a cute little container now and you'll see these containers quite a bit because I have a bunch of them from last year Okay, so for your magnets, you're going to need, um, I'm going to do five, I think. 
So I have five circles that I cut out. And then you're gonna just cut out some felt. Just a little bit shy of the size of the circle. So just pick out your favorite colors of felt if you have felt. If you don't, you can put another layer of cardstock on there. But these are gonna have little sayings on them and I really liked the uh, felt, you know, for the dimension. So, and I'm just gonna use this as a guide and then I'll cut it down because I want it a little bit shorter and those scissors are horrible. Okay, so I'm just cutting around the circle kind of get me a little template for uh, the size of felt that I want. Then I'm just going to cut it. You know, if you have something a little bit smaller than your circle, you can certainly use that. Like a medicine bottle or, you know, the top of a lid or something. I just thought this was cute and you know I love magnets for my refrigerator and I thought well that'll work so that's where I came up with this idea okay and I'm just I just want a little bit all the way around just to kind of give it some um, so you can see the background of the color okay so I'm going to cut all of my felt circles and I will be right back Okay, so I got all of my felt cut out and now I'm just going to put them on um, the cardstock using just hot glue. So I just want them fast and easy with a hot glue gun. I just think it just makes it so much easier. It really grabs hold of the felt. Try not to put the same color on each one because I kind of want them to have that border. So that works pretty well. And as always, be careful with that hot glue because it is hot. Okay, and I have one more. Okay, and on the top of these, what makes these special is you put your own um, thoughts on them or your own sayings. So I'm going to take my scraps that I used and I'm just going to write little, you know, like special meaningful notes on your little pa on your paper, I'm just using a uh, pen, Pigma Micron. This one happens to be green, but you can use whatever you, you know, you'd like. So I'm going to put, uh, you are loved. You make me smile. Okay, so once you get your words or your letters, then you're just going to cut them out. And I'm going to kind of cut them out so that they, um, you know, are kind of separate. That way they kind of spread out on the, so just trim them. And then I'm just going to put, like I said, just a little bit of hot glue. Just make sure I have my... You are loved. Like that. Isn't that cute? Okay, so I'm going to work on the rest of them and I will be right back. Okay, so I got those done. And now I am just going to stick a magnet on the back and I'm using these uh, super strong magnets that I picked up at Hobby Lobby a few years ago. 
and I'm just going to hot glue them to the back. And I went with, uh, you're loved, you mean the world to me, you're special, you make me smile, and you are funny. And I think that this is just a fun gift. It's something that they can put on their refrigerator and have, you know, all year, for many years. And um, I will probably put this in my husband's stocking. He doesn't really watch my videos, so he'll be surprised. <laughs> So just put a magnet on each one of them. Okay, so I have one magnet left over. Okay, I'm gonna let those dry while we do the lid, while we decorate the lid. And I have some stickers. I have a bunch of um, stickers that from scrapbooking and stuff like that. So you can use that, you can use whatever you want. Sorry, they fell on the floor. Okay. So I spelled, I always double check, make sure I have enough stickers for what I'm spelling. And I'm just going to spell out just for you. They're kind of clashing. All right. There we go, and then this will go inside our little container, and then this will go on the top. And it's ready for our stocking. Isn't that cute? I really like that, and I think it's just a cute little gift. So, let me show you again what I, it's just a little piece of paper with some felt, and a little, just for you. Uh, you're special, you're funny. You make me laugh, or you make me smile. You're loved, and you mean the world to me. So I think this is a cute little gift. You can, um, like I said, do any shapes, any colors. So, And this was day two of our Stocking Stuffer series. Sometimes that's kind of hard to say. So thank you guys for watching, and we'll return tomorrow for another Stocking Stuffer idea. Thank you guys for watching, and you guys have a great day. with boughs of holly Tis the season to be